getting a ride share when it's dark and you're in a hurry can make what is usually a safe way to get around more risky. This Austin man is facing charges of kidnapping and aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. According to a police report, a man and woman attempted to get a ride share in downtown Austin after a night of drinking. They got into a black sedan they thought was a ride share. But after driving a short distance, the man was forced out of the car at gunpoint and the woman was sexually assaulted. Just trust your intuition. Corporal Destiny Silva says she can't talk about the ongoing investigation into the recent attack. What she can say is there are a lot of safety features rideshare passengers should be using to better protect themselves. There's pen verification. This feature on the Uber app ensures a passenger is hopping into the right car. Before you even get into a car, you can verbally tell the driver your pin. They have to enter in the correct pin before the trip can even begin. Uber and Lyft also allow passengers to share their trip status with a family member or friend. The apps allow them to follow the ride's progress in real time. Do you think most people are aware of these extra safety measures? I think some of them are newer and probably people aren't aware. Mark Stolberg is in charge of training at Master Drive. He says when bars close, concerts let out, and during peak travel times at airports, too many riders get in the first car that pulls up, and others only check the license plate of the ride share. When you go down to the pickup area, it's chaos. It's just there's rides everywhere and people everywhere. Drivers who pick up rides all day, every day at Austin's airport say despite new safety features being available, they see few being used. The only thing that I did see was them check the uh, license plate number. Riders like Katherine Jackson agree that's her one must-do safety check. I always check their license plate based on what my app says. Experts say that is a good first step. But in addition to pin verification and sharing your trip status, there are other easy ways to prevent problems. First, before you get in the car, open the back passenger door and check for the child safety lock switch. It should be in the unlocked position. If it's not, and it's pushed down to engage the safety locks, you won't be able to open the back doors from the inside. It could be a way that you could get stuck in the back seat of the car. Once you've checked the child locks, be selective in where you sit. Whenever possible, sit in the back seat, passenger side. That allows you to keep an eye on the driver and puts the most space between the two of you. When you get in, ask the driver for window control. Make sure you can roll your windows down. I asked Stolberg if all this might be a little paranoid. It's not paranoid at all. I'm getting in someone else's car and trusting them with my life. So no, I don't think it's paranoid at all. There are well over one and a half million rideshare drivers in the U.S. And experts say with high turnover, extra precautions just make sense. Betty Cross, CBS Austin News.